Hello friends, welcome to my channel Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P.K. Prohakar. Today we are going to talk about the bioinformatics databases, software and some of the important tools which we are going to use in bioinformatics. As we have heard about the bioinformatics, uh, so bioinformatics is an emerging branch of biological science which normally emerges from the combination of biology as well as the informatics or information technology you can call it. So uh, this is an interdisciplinary field uh, which combines the biology uh, computer sciences, uh, that is information technology, mathematics, and statistics. Uh, normally, we are going to use these tools uh, to analyze and interpret the biological data or biological information. Uh, this bioinformatics tool involves the development and application of computational tools, algorithms, and techniques to solve complex biological and biomedical uh, problems. The uh, increase in the amount of biological data creates the need of development of computational tool for the management and the analyzing of the data, which leads to the creation of new field that is called as bioinformatics. According to NCBI, uh, that is National Center for Biotechnology Information, the branch, which is a branch of NLM, uh, that is National Library of Medicine or NIH, National Institute of Health, bioinformatics is defined as the analysis, collection, classification, manipulation, recovery, storage, and visualization of all biological information using computational technology. Again, I'm going to repeat it. Bioinformatics is defined as the analysis, collection, classification, manipulation, recovery, storage, and visualization of all biological information. If you'll see the term bioinformatics, uh, the term was first coined in the year of 1960 by two Dutch biologists uh, whose name was uh, Pauline Hojven and uh, ben Hesper. According to their research and discoveries, bioinformatics was defined as the study of information passes in the biotic system. The main goal of this bioinformatics is to, is to exact meaningful information and knowledge from the large and diverse biological data set uh, where we are having information about the DNA sequences, protein structure, protein sequences, gene expression profiles and many more. Bioinformatics is rapidly growing uh, because number of things we are going to get, number of information we are going to get uh, in the field of biology, which focuses on the development and application of computational tool to analyze the inter and interpret the biological data. Uh, biological database normally, uh, so in the bioinformatics, one of the important thing is biological database. What is biological database? Biological database are archives of the biological data, including genetic protein, sequences, annotations, uh, different metabolic pathways, disease information. So, uh, these databases are normally used for the storage and organization of data in a different way, in a way which allow easy retrieval of information. Uh, information from genetics, genomics, proteomics, metabolomics, transcriptomics, uh, through different tools. One of the tools is microvariate gene expression and phylogenetics. So, uh, bioinformatics normally plays a crucial role in different fields. There are various applications, practical applications like uh, in genomics, where we are talking about the genes, genes related issues, their regulations. Uh, when we are talking about the proteomics, it is a study of a structure, of, a study the structure and function of and their interaction of proteins to understand their role in biological system. When we are talking about metabolomics, it is the metabolic pathway, enzymes, their regulations. When we are talking about the transcriptomics, it is normally analyzing the gene expression patterns using different tools and techniques. A number of other uh, tools also we are having. So the bioinformatics to software tools and database are used uh, to process, store, analyze, and interpret the biological data. What are the different types of biological databases we are having? If you'll see, there are three categories of uh, databases we are having, primary, secondary, and specialized databases. What is primary database? Primary database are normally collections of unprocessed biological data, which we are going to use to call raw data. It is consisting of raw sequence and or the structural information. These primary database are repository of original information and are not modified in any way. Some of the uh, data, uh, primary databases are gene bank, uh, where we are having information about the genes, PDB, uh, protein databases, and DDBG. Then we are having secondary database which contains the information that has been processed or curated using the computational or the manual methods. The information in these that secondary database is based on the original data from the primary database. 
So secondary database gets their information after the analysis of the primary databases. Some of the examples of secondary databases are PIR, Swissprot, or PFM. Then we are having a specialized database. A specialized database are databases that are designed to serve the specific research interest. These databases are created with a particular focus on a specific organism or type of data. Some of the examples are a specialized database including Flybase, HIV uh, sequence database, or the ribosomal database projects. So these are some specific, not primary or secondary. In the biological database, uh, we are going to talk about some of the uh, important database we, we i will talk about the nine important databases one of the important databases is gene bank uh, which is normally uh, present on the ncbi uh, it is a comprehensive and well annotated collection of nucleic acid sequence data developed by ncbi national center of biological uh, biotechnology information it concerns the data of nearly of all the organism secondary uh, second we are having embl that is european molecular biology laboratory it is a nucleotide sequence database normally managed by european bioinformatics institute ebi it is an extensive repository for primary nucleotide sequence so it is a primary database which stores data on dna rna gene expression protein structure pathway and other literatures then we are having ddbj that is dna data bank for japan this is a nucleotide sequence database that collects maintains nucleotide sequence data from the researchers it is operated by or the managed by national institute of genetics in japan collaborated with the ncbi and uh, embl the fourth database we are having that is pdb again this is a primary database which is a biological database that contains the structural data of biological macromolecules especially proteins uh, mainly pdb stores the three-dimensional structural crystallized information about the large biomolecules such as protein dna rna but mainly it is the for the proteins only uh, determined by three specific methods like x-ray crystallography and nmr but most of the data here is that is coming from x-ray crystallography then pir protein information resources that is a publicly accessible database for protein information pir maintains three other databases the protein sequence database psd non redundant references nref database and third one is integrated protein classification ipro class database then we are having ProSite, that is a protein database which contains large collection of proteins, patterns, or profiles. These patterns are linked to documentations providing useful biological information of the protein family, domains, and functional. Then we are having PFAM, that is a database for protein family, domains, representative or for the multiple sequence alignment, profile hidden Markov models, and annotations. Then we are having KEG, that is Kyoto Encyclopedia of Gene and Genomics, that is a biological database which contains geno uh, genomic, chemical, and synthetic systemic functional information used to study molecular level information. And then last, we are having OMIM, that is Online, online Mendelian Inheritance Domain, that is a freely accessible database for human genes, all the uh, disease, uh, which is genetic disorder, and that is uh, transferred um, through inheritance. What is the importance of the biological databases? Biological databases normally allow for the organizations for vast amount of biological data in a structural manner, uh, in a systematic manner. Biological databases are important resource for the researcher that can add uh, in their research. Biological databases can be used to develop new bioinformatics tools and methods to derive further research. And biological databases are enables collaboration between the researcher and facilitate data sharing and resources. The types of bioinformatics tools, if you'll see, bioinformatics tools can be classified into various categories based on their functionality, purpose, and complexity. So we are having three specific types of tools, that is sequence analysis tool, a structural analysis tool, and functional analysis tool. When we are talking about the system, uh, sequence analysis, analysis tool, sequence analysis tools are used for analysis nucleotides or protein sequences. They are also used for identifying homologous sequences and understanding the evolutionary relationship between the different organisms. They include tools used to sequence alignment, sequence database searching, motif discovery, and phylogeny. The, in this case, sequence alignment analysis tools, first one is BLAST, that is a tool that is called as basic local alignment search tools, that is widely used uh, sequence similarity search tools that compares normally query sequence to a database of known sequences it can identify similar sequences and infer in uh, evolutionary relationship and identify potential functional domains within the sequence second one is cluster w uh, that is a multiple sequence alignment uh, later on we will have a video where we will talk about what is the uh, pairwise alignment and multiple sequence alignment so cluster w is a multiple sequence alignment program for dna and protein sequence 
then we are having t coffee uh, that is another widely used multiple sequence alignment tool that uses a combination of progressive and uh, consistently based alignment algorithm then we are having MEME that is multiple EM for motif elucidations that is used for motif discovery and searches. Then we are having MEGA uh, that is molecular evolutionary genetics analysis that is a user friendly software that provides many tools for phylogenetic analysis including multiple sequence alignment, model selection and tree interference. And the last we are having here is Phylip that is phylogenetic and, uh, interference packages that is a collection of software application used to determine the evolutionary relationship among species second tools we are going to have that is a structural analysis tools these two structural analysis tools are used to analyze the structure of proteins or the nucleic acid these tools includes tools for nucleic acid and protein structure comparison classification and prediction some popular tools are uh, like cn 3D that is a software package used to view and analyze three dimensional structure of macromolecules including nucleic acid and proteins. It provides tools for visualization and manipulation of 3D structure of macromolecules. Second one we are having PyMol that is a molecular visualization tool used for three dimensional structure, molecular structure visualization, analysis and animations. Then we are having RASMOL. Uh, RASMOL is a molecular graphical programs uh, designed to visualize and display protein, nucleic acid and small molecules in a graphical manner and the last we are having uh, Odeller that is a comparative protein structure modeling tools that is used for predicting protein structure by comparing them to a non protein structure and the last tools for uh, functional analysis tools so these tools normally essential for understanding the functions and relationship between the different genes and proteins and for their identifying their pathway involved in the disease in this case the first one we are having geo that is called gene expression Omnibus that is a public uh, repository of gene expression data that provides tools for searching, downloading and analyzing gene expression data set. Then we are having InterProScan. Uh, this InterProScan is a software package that scans protein sequence against multiple databases of protein domains and families. Then we are having Cobra that is a Cobra toolbox as a software package for consistent based metabolic modeling that provides a suit uh, for the tools to an simulate and analyze metabolic networks and the last one we are having pathway tools uh, that is a software package for constructing and analyzing metabolic pathway models which includes the database for curated metabolic pathway tools for metabolic engineering so these are the common tools which we are using in bioinformatics now if you'll see the importance of bio biological databases or bioinformatics biological database normally allows the organization for vast amount of biological database for structural manner Biological databases are important resource for uh, researchers that can aid in their research. Biological database can be used to develop new bioinformatics tools and biological database also enables collaborative uh, between the researcher and facilitate data sharing and resources. So this is all about the basic of bioinformatics, their tools, some of the softwares, uh, some of the databases. So the last inform application of for this bioinformatics tools are sequence analysis phylogenetic analysis tools are used to understand the evolutionary relationship similarity between the sequences A structure and function analysis tools are used to annotate and identify new genes and proteins protein sequence analysis tools are used to predict the three dimensional structure of proteins functional analysis tools are used to identify and understand the different metabolic pathway and they are also used for identification of potential drug targets to design new drug molecules so this is all about basics of bioinformatics, their tools, their databases, their softwares. Uh, so in further videos, we, next video we will have, uh, we will talk about the details about the other uh, topics of the bioinformatics. So this is all about for today. Hope you understand it. If you have liked the video, press the like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.